G'day guys, welcome back to another video. We're still in lockdown at the moment with this coronavirus business happening. We, uh, we're still at home on the farm, which is where well, we're pretty lucky in that regard. We've, we've got open air, we've got open spaces and we can do what we really want to do. Um, it looks like we're gonna be locked down still for another week or so, so at least a week or so. So um, I guess we're still stuck here doing this sort of thing until such time that we can hop back on our bikes and, and go about life as we really want to. So what are we doing here today? You wouldn't be here unless you were some sort of creative person, I guess, and um, you wouldn't be looking at this sort of channel unless you were being creative with the camera that's on your phone. So what we're going to do today is here we're looking at five things here to really up your game with your photography on your phone. And uh, without any hesitation, let's get into it. Number one, clean your lenses. Your lenses sit in your, on the back of the phone, they sit in your pocket. If you lead a life anything like I do, I'm in a tractor, I'm in a buggy, I'm on a motorbike. These things get dusty, they get muddy, they get pretty bloody knocked up. So grab yourself a lens cloth, grab your phone and clean the back of those lenses. It takes two seconds and it will save you lots of time later. You go on a trip somewhere, you come back home and you put the photos onto your computer, you blow them up and all of a sudden you've got all these little dots all over the screen, all over the image, and all it is, is dust from your pocket. So rule number one, clean your lens. Tip number two, invert your phone. Last week I did a video on reflection photography, how we got nice and close to water, little small puddles, uh, to get some really cool effect on reflections. So in that video I talked about holding your phone upside down, and in other videos I've done, you would have seen that I talk about holding your phone upside down as well. The reason for that, and the, one of the major benefits that phone photography has over regular photography is that the lenses are nice and small and they're close to the edge of the device. So we can invert the phone and get lower, closer to the ground or closer to the water or closer to whatever we're using on the base of the photo to get some pretty unique angles that you generally can't get on a regular camera. So tip number two, invert your phone. So, tip number three, we're up to three, I think it's three, we'll go with three. Tip number three, turn on the grid lines. You've probably heard it before, and you probably think, well, turn on the grid lines, no big deal. Turn them on, it makes a massive difference. With your iPhone, you go into the iPhone, and go into the settings, go down to camera, and turn on grid, it's the second one from the top. Just hit that, and you're good to go. When you go back into the camera, you'll see these grid lines on there. There's grid lines. They are for the rule of thirds composition rule. And the rule of thirds composition rule is when you have uh, something cool happening in the sky, say we're taking a landscape photo out here and it's a really kick ass sunset and it's, the sky is really popping for us, it's nice and orange. We want the horizon out here to be on the bottom of those thirds. Right? So the sky is in the top two thirds of that. If we're taking a photo of a subject and the horse is over here behind the camera right now watching me at the moment, and uh, I'll, I'll uh, turn this back on and I'll take a photo of the horse and you'll see what I'm talking about with the grid lines. There's the horse right there. You can see the grid lines going up and down vertically. If I was to move it this side, that's on a third. On this side, it's a third. It's a nice intersecting third as well. If I lowered myself down a little bit, you'd have the horse on the horizon as well as on the third and that's a good photo. It's a much better photo than having the horse right there in the middle. Make sense? Cool, let's go to number four. Number four, portrait mode. You can use portrait mode for anything. Most of the time it's for people, sometimes it's for animals. At the moment, we're gonna take a photo of Becky here and see if she hangs around, and uh, I'll show you how it works. Open up your phone, go to the camera, scroll across to portrait mode. Down the bottom here, you've got some lighting options. You can go natural light, studio lighting, uh, contour light, and the rest of them kind of get a bit funky, and to be honest, I don't really use them. I go with uh, natural light or studio light, and I'll show you what they're going to do. You need to have the subject within two and a half meters, so we'll go over here to the horse. There's the horse, and you can see around the horse, hello Becky, see around the horse, it's all going blurry. So around the edges of the horse, so there we go. Actually invert this, we'll get a pretty cool photo like that. Hello. Thanks for playing. Let's go on to number five. Before we get on to the last thing that I wanted to talk to you about, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the portrait mode on the iPhone. 
it's, um, it is really effective and what it tries to do is emulate a fast prime lens on a regular camera. So like I said before, you can take photos of people, you can take photos of animals, but to be honest, you can take photos of absolutely anything and it will try and emulate the shallow depth of field on any subject that you try. Some will do it really well because it does it through software, it doesn't do it through uh, light diffraction like a regular lens, it does it through software, so it gets better with age if you like. So where the portrait mode is now, um, compared to where it was when it first was released on the iPhone, it is poles apart, it is so much better now. But if you're a nature lover and you like plants and rocks and trees, and that sort of thing, the portrait mode on the iPhone works really well for that as well. There's a pretty cool old tree over the back here and I'll take a photo of it in portrait mode, using portrait mode on the iPhone and uh, I'll, I'll explain and show you how it works. So we'll head over here, open the phone up in portrait mode, bring the edge of the trunk of the tree here onto the, the uh, grid line that we put on before. We'll touch the tree there. All the back of it there will turn uh, nice and blurred. We'll hit the shutter button and there's your photo. It actually shows the, the texture on the trunk really well. Um, and you can use that for rocks with moss on them, uh, use it for woodwork with nice grain through it. You can get some pretty cool effects with this. Anyway, let's go on to number five. Tip number five, use the volume buttons instead of the shutter button. If you're somebody who is really struggling to come to grips with using a phone as a camera, and you, because you just don't have that shutter button, the mechanical shutter button, you can use the volume buttons on the edge of your phone as the shutter button. Hold it up, compose the photo, use the shutter button, use the uh, volume button up the top, take the photo. So when you think about it, you can use your volume buttons as a shutter button. Maybe you could use your headphones as a shutter button as well. With a regular camera, you get a uh, shutter release cable that you can use. You can use the volume button on these bad boys as a shutter release cable on your phone. I'll show you what I mean. So here's the camera, it's set up on a tripod. Uh, just grab your headphones, plug them in as you normally would. The camera's ready to go, hit the shutter button, and it takes the photo for you. So no longer do you need to sit there with a selfie at, uh, at arm's length, you can come and hop into the photo and take a photo. And we're done. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully these uh, restrictions that we've got going on will get lifted very soon, and we'll be able to get out and do some pretty exciting stuff off the farm. Uh, I've got plenty of things to show you on motorcycles, plenty more astrophotography stuff that we're going to do with different sorts of phones. Um, so if that sort of thing is interesting to you, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on Thursday for Three Minute Thursday. See you then.